there's there's the emanation. There's a life force, right? We know when someone dies, there's no nothing here anymore. Right? Body's gone. Body's laying there. Whatever was animating it is not there anymore. I want to know what that is. What's animating this? And why there's an aspect in there that can screw it up really badly. That was my desire. That is why I found Carlos. Because if you read those books, there's a lot of dark stuff going on in there. Right? But it's not dark stuff going on. It's Carlos facing his demons. It's Pablito facing his demons. It's Josefina facing her demons. It's Lagorda facing her demons. And, and winning. How about us? We face anything in this culture? Is it, is it something that is uh, appealing to people? Or do they just keep letting them run them around? Because, you know, once the, once the uh, influence to remain very low, very dumb, is gone, that's when life really begins. That's where it starts. Start feeling power. No power over anything or over anybody. Life force. Life force, life force, life force. More of it, more of it, more of it, more of it. Some call that higher awareness. Okay, you can call it higher awareness. You can call it having more energy. You can go Christian on and say, hey, it's like what Jesus said. I wish one thing for you more than any other thing. But you have life, you have it more abundantly. Not stuff. Life. What's he talking about? Same thing Carlos was. This. This. The life force is streaming out of you. Is it at full power? Can you do it without uh, screwing it up? Can you let it flow and get out of the way? Can you put down the self you've built? Not the one you are, the one you've built. Can you put that down for uh, true knowing? Instead of so much thought, how about some being, some feeling? That's, that's what's coming out of your eyes anyway. That's where your feelings really at. Without it, you don't have any. So, was it a big shaman's tale? No. Was it days in the jungle? No. Of course not. We're not in Mexico. We're in America. We're just 20 minutes from the Springs. So, what did me and Carlos do? This society. It was all about this place. So we would go um, to people's houses and watch them go crazy as loons. All right? He would send me on adventures where um, all of my uh, sanity would be at risk. Well, I'll give you an example. This way, you'll, you know, I'm not. I have nothing to actually hide. So I'm going to share very personal stuff with you. Deal with it. One, one thing he had me do. See, I, I was one of those young kids. I wasn't bad to look at. You know, not like now. I'm, I'm called the bounty. You look like the bounty hunter. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> but, you know, and I was very intelligent. And I had a lot of energy. Tons of it. And I could uh, pull people places very quickly. Within, their, within this. Within this I could pull on them. I'll, tell, I'll show you what I mean later. I don't tell you what I mean. I'll show you what I mean. So I, I had a lot of charisma that way. And people were gravitating all around me. It, it, was, it was very, very bizarre. But what I ended up finding out was that, wow, I'm getting a lot of female attention here. I like it. 
And what Carlos had me realize is that, and, and the way he did it was just so pungent, there was this woman that showed up. I'm not going to tell you her name. But this woman had shown up just out of the blue and was really into Carlos, so she would come over. We were camping. We, we would camp in the summer, get a house in the winter, camp the next summer, got a house the next winter, and then he was gone. He had, he had gone. But he passed away, well, yeah, in one sense, yeah, the body was laying there. It was, you know, no longer alive with life itself. That had moved on, but that is not in any sense of the word dead. Death is a lie. Do you keep your same car for your whole life? You don't. Know, it wears out. You get a new one. <laughs> mm. So anyway, this woman shows up. She's graduated from Northwestern University. I'm young. Remember, I'm 25. Not a whole lot of experience. And she shows up. She's about 30, 31. Nice looking woman. And was smitten with me because I was hanging out with Carlos. I had a lot of that. Wow, you beat me down here. And I would play it. Right? And play it and play it and play it. Just totally, you know, um, being reckless. And so she's going to move out to Colorado. And she's a, she's a reporter. You know, these intellectual types, which really, I, I had a, I had a strong attraction to stuff like that, <coughs> especially coming from a woman that looked like that. To be honest. <coughs> so he's like, she's gonna move out. I'm like, okay, so she's gonna move out here. Cool. Yeah. I'm married, by the way. At this time, just so you know, just had a baby. <coughs> right. She's gonna move out here. I'm like, really? Cool. He's like, yeah, me and you are going to go back and move around. I'm like, really? Me and you? He's like, yeah, we're going <coughs> to catch a bus and we'll go out there and we'll move right back here. I'm like, okay, that sounds really cool. I'm thinking, I can't, I can't go too far into my stupidity because he'll be there. We get to the bus station. Go. <clears throat> I'm like, excuse me? He's like, I'm not coming. Get on that damn bus. I'm like, what? He's like, you either get on that bus or you don't see me again. So I did. I got on that bus and I went all the way to where she lived to move her house. I get there. She says on the phone that she's gonna, she'll be packing the whole time. Just load it up and go. She has no idea I'm coming along, but I show up there by myself. She's like, where's Carlos? He, wasn't, he didn't come. She's like, so it's just me and you? I'm like, yeah. And I could sense it right away. There's the... You might as well start playing Barry White music, because it's in the air, you feel it. And I was very enticed by that. I thought that was the way to go, that you chase that, that vibe, you chase that. So I chased it, chased it, so we were there for like three days, and I got to that house. She, she was, you know, well off enough, which meant she had a lot of stuff. I mean, a lot of stuff. None of it's packed. Not a thing. The house looks like, it, and she was just, I don't, I don't know what was going on. So I get there, and I start packing. She starts flirting. I start flirting. We keep packing. Right? And the first night, you know, I'm sleeping on the couch, and her daughter's in her room, because she had a daughter, and she slept in her room, and, and you could just feel this vibe. Right? And it, it was very intense. Very intense. Again, I loved it floating around the whole thing. So the next day, what she does is, <laughs> this gets really intense, sends her daughter to go spend the night at her friend's house for one last night. Comes back to finish packing and is, is really turning on the juice, like you women can. You know, when you got something you want, you can definitely, you're capable of that. So, and I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm basically helpless at this point. Why? I've played into it. 